Chrome OS is getting the Windows apps? Let's talk about it. What's up YouTube? This is Jason with Red Bee Labs and welcome to the channel. So I found out that Google and Parallels Desktop have a agreement and they're going to bring Windows apps to the Chromebooks. So, I mean, good, good. I mean, it's, it's good. I think it's good news to help out Google and, and kind of close some of the gaps they have with their OS. But, um, you know, I, I looked at that this morning and I saw Parallels Desktop. Uh, so, you know, well, Parallels Desktop is a virtualization software that's extremely popular on Macs. So, I, you know, I mean, you go to the best and then, you know, you get, you get what you get. So Google is smart. They, they knew who to go get to virtualize on their platform and I think it's really gonna work out for them. Google said they really wanted to add this addition like they did with the Android apps so that you could have the best of both worlds. So you had Chrome OS and Android apps and now you're gonna have Chrome OS, Android apps, and Windows apps. I mean, production will just be pouring out everywhere. This is going to be a huge deal for companies because now they can switch over to Chromebooks, lower their cost of hardware, and still be able to get the job done. Remember, a lot of these companies have legacy apps that are on Windows and they can't just jump over to Chromebooks and Chrome OS and just leave those legacy apps behind. You know, they're not been, they haven't been transferred to web apps and things like that. So they can't just leave them behind. So with the ability to just jump into windows and use the apps and still be able to have an inexpensive chromebook i mean that's a win for what i understand this is for chromebook enterprise devices so um basically managed devices and you'll have your it administrator be able to go in and enable this feature for you for now google has it set so that the full operating system will boot up um, but in the future they're going to have it set up kind of like coherent mode on the Macs now where you'll just be able to open up an instant of what you need. If you just need Word or you just need Excel, it'll just open those. And it'll have the files actually linked to those applications. So if I click on an Excel file, it'll open up that application, Excel, and I'll be able to just jump in and do the work I need to do. As of now, there's been no pricing or release date, but uh, stay tuned. I'm sure there's gonna be a huge announcement soon because this is a big deal. Now, to run Parallels Desktop on your Chromebook, you're gonna need a four power usage Chromebook, and this usually has a Core i5 or i7. Um, it'll come with either eight gigs or 16 gigs, and that'll be enough to actually run Parallels and have it smooth and you get no lag or anything like that. For me, this is a smart move by Google. I mean, they're already killing it in the education market, and now they're gonna slide in and take over a little bit more of the enterprise market share. Also, this is an easier way for businesses to slide into a, a more secure and simplified OS. And it's a move closer to more progressive web apps and cloud services. In my opinion, as I've said, this is this is awesome to me. It is, I mean, you get Chrome OS, you get, you're gonna get Windows, you're gonna have Android apps, you can even dabble in Linux. I mean, Google's just giving you every option you need. They're like, get our device, our device can do everything. It's um, inexpensive in certain cases, and it's kind of stylish. I mean, I, I like my Chromebook I have. I mean, I'm on my iPad more so, but, you know, I jump back over to that. I don't use really like Windows all the time or Mac all the time, you know, so. Also, look at what Microsoft is doing already. Windows 10X, I mean, that is basically an operating system that's gonna be a direct competition to Chrome OS. So even they know that it's like, you know, the future's moving more so more so to progressive web apps and cloud services and just, just in general. I mean, not a lot of desktop apps are gonna be alive soon you know they're gonna they're gonna phase out soon and we're gonna move more so to like i said just the web apps they're easy to manage and deploy uh, and administrate i mean they're just the future that's it for me guys if you found value in this video if you could click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new content i release also if you could smash that like button leave me a comment or two and share this video you will be the awesome awesome person that just makes my day as always, this is Jason, and I'll catch you in the next one.